Hi everyone! I saw some questions on the Facebook groups of people who were thinking about getting a reinforced spine or just a single one and not a reinforced one. So I just wanted to point out the differences a little bit real quick. Maybe that helps you decide on what's better for you. Um, so first we have a single notebook here that's from Foxyfix. Try to get a little more light here, like this. So this is a single one. It comes with the pockets. Um, you have to order them if you want them, the pockets. It's two secretary pockets and it also comes with an extra jump band. It just has one elastic in the middle. The little one you don't want to use because it's like too small. Um, it's smaller than the normal notebook. I mean you can use it but I normally don't. This is A6 and you just slide in one notebook here and you're perfectly fine to go. Um, this doesn't have a reinforced spine, it's just like one leather all the way. And um, yeah, you can also add more notebooks with the jump band, but that would be a different video. Um, just for you to see um, what it will be without the reinforced spine. It has the pockets where the leather is a little bit thicker, but in the middle it's just thin. And yeah, it's just a little handy thing, single lightweight notebook like this. With the reinforced spine, you normally have more than one jump band. This has four and you can also choose six when you order this or if you order from other brands, you can even choose more. Maybe Foxyfix too, I'm not completely um, aware of everything that's going on right now on the website, so maybe they changed that too. Reinforced spine means there is an extra piece of leather sewn on the spine um, to give it more structure, which is um, good for people who want to chunk up their notebook, who have more than one or two inserts. So as I said here it's four and you can also have like more holes here so you can add six inserts. It also has the secretary pockets which I chose and these little card pockets and a pen loop. And yeah, it just makes the spine a little bit thicker and sturdier, so it will be thicker on the pocket sides and in the middle. And it holds the, um, the shape of the notebook differently than this one. So yeah, it's just really a thing that you might want to think about first if you want to add just one little calendar and one like little notebook. A smaller one would be nice because then you don't have too much to carry around. Because I really need to say, when you don't chunk this up all the way, it is kind of weird. Like when you just put in a little notebook and maybe two notebooks, it's kind of lost in there. Um, that was always my problem because I'm not someone who likes to carry around a lot. So if I put this in and um, this is an insert from Cocoa Daisy that I cut down to a six. So it's kind of lost in there. Even if you add like one more, um, it's still not enough. So you really, when you got the reinforced spine, you really want to like at least add three or four notebooks so that it's like, that it makes sense. Because I don't know when I put this in my bag, it's, it's kind of weird. So that's what you really want to think about first. Um, on the other hand, if I just use one notebook and the little one, I can show you. Um, that's pretty, pretty good because it's basically made for just one notebook. And of course you can add two or three with the extra jump band, but that's like perfectly fine if you just get this closed. Um, also comes with the pen loop here. So this is like, this is a sturdier leather, this is the um, single special that they had last year. So yeah, that's that's maybe better if you just want to carry around just one or two notebooks, um, that's easier. So yeah, that's just real quick the difference and that's all it is. Like it just has a little extra piece of leather here and yeah, you just might want to think about what you want to use it for first and then you can decide. So I hope this was helpful and I will be back with some more videos soon. Um, I can also show how you can add more notebooks to a single one because I know there's always people asking who are new to the Traveler's Notebooks and I will do more comparison videos and about 
how to choose your perfect size and how to find your planner piece traveler's notebook. So if you like this video, I would be happy to get a thumbs up and if you have any questions, just write them down below. And I wish you everyone a really nice day. Bye!